Hey, Pete here for Studio Live today, and in this video, I'm going to show you why this USB interface, the Steinberg UR12, may just be the best piece of equipment that you buy for your mobile recording needs. So let's jump into it. The Steinberg UR12 is a USB and iOS interface, and the reason that I can say that it's both of those is that it's got one very unique feature, which is that it can be powered both by USB, but also by a micro USB power supply. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a moment. But what you need to know right up front is that it means that this USB interface, unlike all others or many others, um, can be used with an iPhone or an iPad or a, any iOS device. So let's jump into it and take a look. On the front panel here, it looks like any other USB interface. We've got two inputs here. So we've got a uh, mic preamp, which is an XLR connector, and we've got a high Z or high Z uh, connector for an instrument cable. So we've got two independent input channels, and yes, we can record two independent channels at the same time, which is super cool. We have our input gain here for the first channel, the mic preamp, and also our second channel here. And these are really nice, high quality uh, dials here. So there's no chance that you're gonna knock these. They're nice and weighted, um, and they feel really good to adjust, which is very cool. We've got the output uh, gain here, which is for both the headphone and the line output. So one of the trade-offs that you do make with a device like this, and in this sort of price range, is that you're not gonna get a separate uh, volume control for your headphone output as your line output because these devices are really designed to be used by one person that's going to do the recording um, the performing the producing so um, if you are doing it all yourself then this is going to be a great device for you if you need to monitor the audio via monitors as well as headphones with a separate person you may have some limitations there we've got a direct monitor button here which we can turn on and off. And that basically just means that we get latency free monitoring. And what does that mean? Well, it means that if we're playing an instrument or we're singing and we're playing back audio through either our computer or our iOS device, then we can actually hear what we're playing at the same time. It doesn't have to go through the device and the software and then be played back. So we do have the option to turn that off and have the software play it back with a minimal amount of latency. And, um, from what I've seen so far, it's not massive. It's only in sort of the probably 20 millisecond range, which uh, isn't too bad for this sort of device. If we turn the device over, this is where it gets really interesting. So uh, if you've used a USB interface before, much of this will look quite familiar to you. We've got our line output over here. And in this case, we've got two RCA outputs. We've got a left and a right RCA, and these are unbalanced outputs. So um, unfortunately, we don't have the ability to output to a balanced signal. So if you've got some high-end studio monitors that you wanted to output to, you're only gonna be able to output the unbalanced signal. If that means nothing to you, don't worry about it. Basically, it just means that um, unlike some of the higher-end interfaces, um, we've only got these unbalanced RCA outputs the uh, switch over here is our 48 volt, which is our phantom power. So for the first channel, which is the microphone preamp, we can have phantom power either off or on. So if you're using a condenser microphone or any type of microphone that requires its own power, so anything but a dynamic microphone basically, um, then you're going to need that and this one has it on board. Over here is the most interesting part of the interface. So we have a power source selector. So again, if you've used a USB interface, you'd realize that you basically plug USB power into here, you plug the other end into your computer, and the device is both powered by and connected by the same USB port. In this case, it's a USB 2 connector and a USB 2 port. What this device has is the ability to flick this switch, and the device is actually now gonna be powered by this micro USB 5 volt DC socket. And that means that we can plug this into any power outlet uh, via a micro USB cable and an AC power adapter, or even better, we can use any sort of uh, portable battery or power bank to actually charge uh, and power the UR12, which is exactly what we need to do if we wanna use this with an iOS device. So I'm gonna quickly show you what that looks like now. So we'll put the UR12 down there. 
Now, the one thing that you will need to use this with iOS is something like this. Now, this is the Lightning to USB cable from Apple. These do retail for uh, about $30 to $50 um, for the genuine versions, so they're not cheap. You can, of course, buy cheaper versions of these, but uh, your mileage may vary on that. Um, they can be uh, okay, but sometimes they will randomly not work. So this one is a genuine Apple Lightning to USB connector, and I'll show you why we need that in a moment. So let's grab our USB cable first of all. So this is uh, the supplied cable, which is just a standard USB A to B connector. If we come to the back here, we plug that USB cable into there, and this is our USB connection. Now we just throw that into here, and now from a connection point of view, we're actually going to connect using USB from there, and this is going to go straight into our iPhone or iPad to be connected. Now we flick this one over here to the 5 volt DC power source. And in order to turn that on, um, I'm going to show you how that works right now. Okay, so you can now see that I have my phone with the garage band loaded and ready to go. And I've got that plugged in here and plugged into the USB cable. Now, what I have here is my USB power bank. And this one just has two USB ports, which I could plug a micro USB cable into those. But even more handy with this one, other end, is that it has its own built-in micro USB cable. So if we detach that one, and what we're going to do is plug that into here, into the five volt micro USB socket. These can never go the right way around the first time you try them. There we go. So that's plugged in there. We're going to power that on. And what we'll notice when we turn this around is that we now have our USB light on there. We've also got the 48 volt uh, phantom power light on there because that's actually enabled at the back here. I can switch that off and uh, back on again if I need to. Um, and it does uh, take the USB connection away just for a minute there. Now, when I connected this, actually I'll do this again, just up oh, there it is. Uh, it actually tells me that an audio device has been detected and asks me if I want to turn on monitoring, which I can do. And I will turn that on. Now, if we go in here, wrong spot, if we go into the microphone itself and go to the input, you can see here that we're on input one. We also have input two as an option here. So because we have the two inputs here, we can actually choose both of those. And the great thing about this device is that we can add a second track here. Let's say we had an instrument plugged in and we go back to our tracks. We can now record enable and monitor. We've got the same track selected. <laughs> so we'll go back to here, make that one input two, and then back to here. And there we go. So we've got, we can actually record onto two separate tracks using the two inputs at the same time. So if we're recording a vocal and a guitar, we can have our vocal mic in here, our guitar plugged into here, record them independently on two separate tracks at the same time. So that is the Steinberg UR12 interface. As I said, it's one of the best and most versatile uh, interfaces I've come across. It can be used with USB. You can just plug it into your computer and use it. I know I didn't focus much on that in this video, um, but it is a really useful interface to have around and I've been using it for my recordings on the iPhone and the iPad in recent times and you get some pretty good results. So I hope you found this uh, useful and thanks for watching.